Today, we're going to look at five ways to jazz up your writing for your rock painting. Except today, we're not even going to touch a rock, so grab your favorite pen or pencil and let's get started. We're going to take some inspiration from this hand lettering book by Cindy Gunter Baldo. I'd had this book for quite a while before I realized she's also a YouTube creator in the planning community. I'll put a link to this book in the description because it's full of great information. We're going to start out by taking our handwriting temperature like Cindy recommends. So we have to come up with two things. The first thing is something you love about your handwriting and you have to answer this. And the second thing is a specific thing you'd like to change about your handwriting. I think she forces us to come up with a compliment for our handwriting because we're always too self-critical. So we have to start with what we've got and love what we've got. So grab a piece of scrap paper and answer these questions or better yet, tell me what your answers are in the comments. The specific thing you want to improve on, I think, is to give yourself a goal post, something to practice on improving every time you're doing writing. The next step is going to be to write the entire alphabet, both in uppercase and lowercase, in your regular writing. So don't try and make it fancy. This would be like you're scribbling a note out to one of your kids or writing the grocery list. Don't overthink it. Just write in your normal writing. The point here is to get comfortable with your own writing and start to look at what those specific changes might be that you want to make to improve your writing. Now we're going to get to practicing, so loosen up, stretch it out, and let's get to work. You can go into Walmart or on Amazon and get a children's writing pad really affordably. The main thing you're looking for are these penmanship lines like you had in second grade. And just like elementary school, we're going to use these lines as guides to help us improve our writing. So you can see here that I just wrote my name out in my normal writing, just wrote it out without a care. And now I'm gonna slow down and use these guidelines to kind of play around with things that I can do with my own name by using the guidelines, switching it up with capitals and lowercase, large, small, just play around with what you can do with these lines. Learn how to use those lines as guides. Now let's jump into the five ways that you can jazz up your writing. The first way to jazz up your writing is to make your handwriting like a serif font. You can do this by trying to write your alphabet or your letters neatly and kind of block letters and then you're going to come back and add little notches on the ends of the letters. So you see me do this a lot on my rocks, but it's a very simple way to just add a little bit of flair to your writing. The second way to change up your writing is to work with varied shapes and angles. So the first time I write ABC, I'm writing it very neat and uniform, but the second time I'm going to make slightly different shapes and different angles. The third way to jazz up your writing is to create tall and thin letters. So you'll see here I'm making very tall and narrow versions of the letters. <laughs> Now the flip side of tall and thin letters are short and wide letters. The last way you can change up your writing is to change the height of the crossbar. So this is the line that goes across an A or an H. So you can do it in the middle, you can do it low, or you can do it high. Check out some variations of this with some other letters. Here's some additional variations of the low and the high crossbars, as well as switching things up between capitals and lowercase letters. Here's the secret to improving your writing for your rock painting. Did you really think it would be something different other than practice, practice, practice? Jokes aside, getting comfortable with the different styles of writing that you want to practice 
is the easiest way for you to get better, and you don't necessarily have to practice on the rocks. Pull out the paper and play around and just start writing until you get comfortable with it. And always remember that the people finding your rocks could care less about how perfect your writing is. It's the kindness that matters the most. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I hope this video was helpful. Keep your eyes peeled for more videos on how to improve your writing. An easy way not to miss out is to hit that subscribe button and hit the alert bell so you don't miss out on the notifications. Thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.